Hey guys, today I wanted to go over five different delivery apps that you can use with your car to help you earn up to $200 a day. So the thing I like about these delivery apps is you can either do it on top of your normal nine to five job, just after work or on a Saturday, or you can do it as a full-time thing if there's enough work. So with that being said, let's get into the best delivery apps that you may or may not have heard of before. So the first one is gonna be Shipped Shopper. So Shipped was recently acquired by Target. So a lot of your trips are gonna be from Target and to Costco and Meijer and a lot of these grocery stores. So Shipped actually used to be a members only delivery service, but now that's no longer a thing. And so hopefully there's gonna be a lot more users and a lot more customers to provide you with a lot more gigs. And so you're basically gonna be paid based off of the size of the job, so however many items, and then the distance from the store as well. So the biggest, highest paying job that I saw was about $50, not including tips, and that was for one hour. So obviously it's gonna be 170 items, so it's gonna be a lot bigger of a job, but if you can get it done within an hour, you're making $50 an hour, not including the tips you might get. So you can make decent money using the shipped delivery app, and it's one that I definitely recommend. So the next one is going to be Amazon Flex, where you'll be delivering for Amazon Prime, Amazon Restaurants, and Amazon Fresh. So it can be anywhere from packages to meals from a restaurant. So the biggest difference between Amazon Flex and these other delivery apps is you're required to do a little bit longer drives, anywhere from three to six hours at a time. So you're doing a little bit longer shifts, but you're gonna be making anywhere from 18 to $20 an hour starting out. So with Amazon Flex, you're required to be at least 21 years of age to do some of these deliveries. And it's preferred that you have a little bit bigger of a car, like an SUV or a van. So with Amazon Flex, again, you are essentially a Amazon driver, but the difference is you get to pick your own shifts and choose when you want to work. All right, so this next one is called GoPuff. I'm not sure if that name has any meaning at all, but it's also another great app to use for delivery. So with GoPuff, you'll be delivering a little bit more simple items, such as snacks and drinks and even basic household items. It's also known for delivering alcohol. So if you're here in Utah where not as many people drink, it might not be the best one to use. So the cool thing about GoPuff is everything that you're gonna be picking up, all the items are already in a warehouse. So basically you're gonna be driving just to the warehouse and then to wherever the customer is located. You'll make anywhere from 16 to $20 an hour, but you'll make a minimum of $12 an hour. So for example, if you do two trips that are $4 each, GoPuff will match it so you make at least $12 for that hour. There's also extra bonuses and commissions that GoPuff will pay you depending on how many orders you can get done in a day. So you'll earn up to $4 per order with GoPuff, but sometimes they'll do offers where it's up to $6 per order. So GoPuff definitely has smaller, simpler orders and deliveries, but if you wanna make anywhere from 12 to $20 an hour with 12 being the minimum, then this is something to definitely try out. And with GoPuff, of course, you'll be delivering alcohol, so you'll need to be at least 21 years old. So this next one is gonna be kind of a two-in-one. It's both Waiter and Bite Squad. So these two are partnered with the same company called Delivery Logistics, so they're basically the same thing. And you're gonna be making most of your money just from tips. Your base pay is only $5, and so your pay is gonna be a lot more variable. So if you're delivering in an area where people are a lot more generous, you can make some pretty good money, but again, your base pay is $5, and it really depends on how much you're getting tipped. What's nice about these two is you're paid every week on Friday, and then you can withdraw your earnings at any time. So again, those two are both Waiter and Bite Squad, and you'll be making most of your money from tips, which ends up being anywhere from 10 to even $30 an hour. All right, so this last one is called Wings. So it's probably not what you think. You're not actually delivering chicken wings to people, but you're bringing them to and from the airport. So Wings actually has a great pay. It's $25 per ride. So if you can do two of those in one hour, that's $50 per hour. So you can make some really good money taking people to and from the airport. The only problem with Wings is there's not too many locations right now. So I'm gonna list them right here. And so if you're in one of those locations, then I would definitely say go try it out and make $25 per ride. So those are the five best delivery apps to use for your side hustle or even a full-time income. If you guys have any questions, then leave them in the comments below and I will answer them the best that I can. And I'll hopefully catch you next time. See ya.